Kuromi, another one of the many characters created by the esteemed Japanese company Sanrio. Kuromi made her big debut in 2005 and I've gotta say has managed to stay pretty relevant ever since. While she is cute, she also has this tomboyish, mischievous punk aesthetic going on too. The black jester hat and the pink skull is what really solidifies this look. Obviously, we can't forget the devil tail either, or the dark purple and black colour scheme. So edgy. Fell in love with an emo girl. The Overlord, San Rio. We all know who San Rio is by now, but in case you've forgotten, here's a Cliff Notes version. Japanese company that creates heaps of cute characters. Founded in 1960 by Shintaro Suji in Tokyo, the characters have mass appealed to people of all ages all across the world. What is Kuromi? To be completely honest with you, I was quite intrigued by this question myself as I personally had no idea. I'm sure you're just like me and never questioned it for some reason. Yes, she does have ears like a rabbit, however she is actually not considered to be an animal character of any type. I guess she just exists. Boo! Her birthday is the 31st of October on Halloween, which makes sense, and her name Karomi translates to English as Black Beauty. The bad girl attitude. I believe Karomi's personality and attitude is what makes her unique from the other Sanrio characters. She is portrayed to be rebellious, but also the sassiest queen to ever exist. For example, I'm not a troublemaker, I'm just misunderstood. Sorry, not sorry. That's just how I roll. <laughs> Alright, Karomi. Confidence is my best accessory. Jealous much? <laughs> Who does she think she is? Feels very early 2000s cringe, which I suppose it is. But either way, she still gets a pass. Regardless of this tough exterior, deep down, Karomi is very loving, cares about her friends, and values loyalty. Apparently, she loves reading romantic stories and writing in her diary. She's a what bad girl? She's also very much into fashion, punk rock music, and likes the colors black and pink. Now, this is not officially confirmed, but in the My Melody universe, Karomi is kind of her rival. Or more so like an anti-hero, but people really do think she's a villain. Of course she's going to have her moments and is quite dramatic over small encounters, like my melody eating the last pickle. Or ripping her notebook. <laughs> but ultimately, they don't hate each other. I just think it shows different layers of their friendship. But yeah, they are not besties, let's be real. Unique taste! I love this because it is so random and unexpected. Any guesses what her favorite food is? In three, two, one, shallots! shallots. Very random, but I approve. Karomi merch! Just like all Sanrio characters, there is potentially too much Karomi merch out there in the world. This includes plushies, stationery clothing, and accessories, yada yada, you know the deal. Overall, just looking online quickly, there's not a huge range of products in comparison to the time I searched Gudetama for that video. Like, there's no Karomi Hot Wheel! <laughs> Karomi's rise to power! Given her image, Karomi quickly became a popular character among the alternative communities. People really appreciated that there was a character unique in this way as part of the Sanrio lineup. In the worldwide poll of favorite Sanrio characters, in 2023, Karomi got third place. Very respectable. Would like to mention in the Australian votes, Gudetama got third place. Yep. No one cares. In case you want to know, Cinema Roll won first place and Pompurin got second. I might have to discuss those characters in a future video. I don't know. Okay, back to Karomi. There have also been pop-up Karomi cafes that offer drinks, food, merch, all things Karomi, really giving the fan base a fun experience and a way to empty their wallets. Imagine if they only sold shallot dishes here. Back in 2021 on October 26th, a huge campaign began called the Karomi-Fi The World Project. 
essentially the goal was just to put Kurumi out there more and more into the world. That's it. But seriously, the Kurumis were all on board with the assignment. Yeah, fun fact, that's what the fans call themselves. Participations in this campaign popped up on the official Kurumi Instagram and Twitter, spurring people on to keep going. Kinda genius marketing to be honest, why spend on advertising when your audience will happily do it for you free of charge? Kurumi also came out with her own song called Greedy Greedy. <laughs> both the Japanese and English version. Don't tell me who I am, greedy, greedy, we gotta go. Can I just say it's a bop? Then that started a whole dance challenge for all the Karomis to eventually be featured in the official music video. And with all this positive attention, Karomi officially got her own anime called Karomi's Pretty Journey. Karomi Base, lift off! <laughs> It's all free to watch right here on YouTube if you're interested in checking it out. Plot twist. Can you believe Karomi is a leader of a biker gang? The group is called Karomi's Five. It features a cat called Naimi, her BFF, a fox called Konmi, a dog called Wanmi, and a rat called Chummy. Please don't come for me if I pronounce those wrong. They don't ride motorcycles. No, no. They roll around on tricycles. Tricycles? Karomi behind bars? Karomi made a big debut in 2005 in a series called Onigai My Melody. To sum it up quickly, Karomi is an escaped prisoner. That's it, the end. No, wait, what? Yeah, you heard that right. She was an escaped prisoner from Maryland. She has something called the Melody Key, which has the power to ruin dreams. Like, who would make this thing? Karomi's got a sidekick called Baku, and they work together as a team to collect 100 black notes to get this spirit of dark power. For some unknown reason, she transports to the human world and finds a high school boy called Kichi that she madly obsesses over with and works with. Guess who else is in the human world? Nope, it's Melody. She stops Karomi by ganging up with friends to collect a hundred pink notes and ends up saving the world. Woo! <laughs> That's how their love-hate friendship begins. Another note about Karomi's time spent in prison. It was later revealed that the reason for her time spent behind bars was that she committed crimes like stealing bread in order to feed Baku's poor family. See what I mean about a tough exterior, but a loving and loyal personality underneath? Karomi's message! Her character often embodies the idea of individuality, embracing one's uniqueness, and challenging societal norms. My guess is that Sanrio likely aims to use Karomi to encourage self-expression and acceptance of diverse personalities and styles. She represents the idea that it's okay to be different and to embrace your own identity, even if it doesn't conform to traditional standards of cuteness or sweetness as seen around you. It doesn't make you any less good of a person, so instead of suppressing it, you should welcome your authentic self and show it to the world with confidence. This is what the people want. Just hold still. Get that thing off of me! No! I don't care about what's trendy or what the people want. I only wear what I want to wear. If you don't like it, 